been a while since we last cut your hair. It's uh, grown quite a bit since then. Um, were you looking for anything else today? Or just a haircut? A shave as well? Okay. Well, normally before shaving, we will apply a, um, a hot towel over the face just to um, open up the pores, but after that it's a traditional, just a traditional shave like any other, and if you want we can uh, go ahead and get working on your, um, your hair after that. You want to do that? Okay. Um, the first thing I want to do then is actually we can uh, just get your face wet because uh, it helps during the shaving and lathering process and we normally do this before adding the hot towel anyway so if you can just go ahead and um, just close your eyes for me and uh, so that I can spray your face without getting water in your eyes okay thanks and uh, the water is going to feel cold initially, but uh, that's normal. And as soon as we get that hot towel on there, it'll feel much better. go ahead and put that hot towel over your face. We're actually going to go ahead and um, going to go ahead and actually press this onto your skin a bit, okay? Okay. And this is just to open pores of your skin a little bit. Right after this we can add the shaving cream, of course. And um, then we can give you a, a shave. Is that warm? Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of people find it um, relaxing, the compress, I mean the, uh, not the compress, the pressure on the skin. Now I'm just going to leave this for a moment while I go and prepare the other materials needed for your shave, okay? Back in one second, just rest there. Okay, and um, there we go, your face should be well prepared for the lather, 
next thing that we're going to do is just going to apply some shaving cream evenly on both sides of your face. And there might be a slight tingling sensation, but um, that's uh, normal. Now, if you don't have a um, particularly long beard, so you shouldn't need that much gel, but maybe just a bit more. And, uh, that's what it looks like. It's uh, almost like a, uh, a uh, thick whipped cream. So that should be good. I'm just going to um, start off by applying the lather to your right side of the face and then we'll try to make our way all around. What's that? It's relaxing. A lot of people find the um, the application relaxing. You're not the only one. You just get under your going to uh, get under your chin a bit, so. You normally go to the uh, barbers for a shave, or do you normally do it yourself? Do it yourself. Yeah, it's not as uh, most people don't. Um, have their shave done regularly by a professional. Should be done in a sec. We uh, seem to have that applied pretty well. You did get some on your eyebrow, I'm sorry about that. Let me just, there you go. So, were you looking for a, um, a kind of a shadow today? Or a, uh, a 
a close shave. A close shave. Okay. Or in that case, um, we want to make sure that our blade is extra sharp. So uh, we're just going to have to quickly sharpen it, if you don't mind. So what we have here is a typical uh, sharpener that one would use for sharpening a typical razor blade. And it works just by an insert that once inserted you can sharpen the blade by pushing forward and pushing back. I'm just going to need to do that a few times. Good. And, um, I'm going to have to get pretty close for this because um, I want to make sure that I get, you know, every part of your face. Okay? Um, and periodically I may actually have to step back to uh, rinse the blade of any, uh, you know, hair and uh, cream, but, uh, you know, I'm sure you've done this before. Now I'm going to um, start off by just getting the, uh, the, uh, the initial swipes in. We're just we're just making sure right now that get basic outline for how um rest of the shave is going to go just just get back here At any point, you feel somewhat uncomfortable. Just um, just let me know, okay? You can um, just move your head a little bit. There we go. Thank you. I start on this side now. Going you always want to um, make sure that. you go with the uh, hair, of course. Just, uh, 
the cheeks. If you can, um, if you can puff out your cheeks, like, um, like a, like a blowfish, like that. Um, that just makes it a lot easier and um, it lets us get a cleaner shave. Thanks. Now we can just move there. again as well. Okay. I'm probably going to move down to your um where your jaw bones are and uh your chin next. Just go. Let me just rinse this towel out one sec. to have to get really close here because I want to make sure that I get you know, every detail. Just like that. And then this side as well. Sorry about that. Don't want to hit your face again. Yeah, get some more. Let me just clean this water up really fast. Just getting right under your chin now. Straight, straight under there. You're just getting your neck and any final details now. Are they done? Should be. Uh-huh. 
last few strokes now. But there we are. Your um, your face is now all shaven. I'm going to get a clean rag. We're going to give a clean rag, then we can clean your face off and give it straight to that hair. One sec. Okay, just want to press that in really quickly. Here we go. I got some water on your eye. I'm sorry about that. There we go. Okay, so you're cleanly shaven. You now look civilized. And uh, we can get on to that haircut, okay? So, for your haircut, were you just looking to have a. Uh, to have a have kind of a trim, or did you want us to actually, uh, um, you know, shave your head? What were you looking for? Scissors cut? Okay. Um, do you have any specific length that you were um, considering? I mean, it is, um, you know, your hair is quite long, but um, did you have a specific length? in mind. Just a trim. Okay. Well, the first thing we were going to do is just um, kind of wet your hair down a bit. So I'm actually going to cover your eyes so you don't get any um, water in your hair. I mean, in your eyes. open your eyes now. I'm just going to quickly comb some of this hair now that it's nice and wet. I want to make sure that um, that it's fully um, combed out and organized before we begin. Your hair is uh, quite soft. You clearly make an attempt in caring for it. Here, get the sides now. This is fine as well. Just to um, 
we go. Just want to make sure that that does. Damn this, we can get it. It's much better. So now we can uh, begin with the actual cut itself. If at any point I pull on your hair by mistake or something, uh, just let me know and I'll be a bit more gentle. Let's move this back. So now we can begin with the um, actual haircut itself. If at any point I accidentally um, am a bit too rough on your hair, just let me know and uh, I'll obviously uh, make adjustments. So I'm so I'm only taking off about um, an inch and a half. Do you want any more than that? No. Okay. Just want to make sure. Your hair is uh, quite thick as well, so consider yourself lucky. Get some of the hair from back here. How often do you normally get your hair cut? About once a month? Yeah, most of our clients only come in about um, well, once a month as well, so.
cheating on your switch scissors because the cutting that I'm uh, doing now is a little bit more detailed. your head. Sorry about all that hair. Don't grow it so much. Are you planning on keeping your hair this long, or is this just a, um, a temporary, uh, a temporary thing? You plan on keeping it this long? Um, and in that case, I suggest. getting it cut uh, more regularly, that way you can avoid getting um, uh, split ends. almost be done. I'm just going to quickly put some water on your head again. And, uh, I'm just going to comb that through very quickly. few strands here and there. There we go. Okay. Before you go, do you want any um, type of product to keep flyaways down? You do. Okay. Um, we do have uh, we have a lemongrass. If you can smell that, it's a lemongrass cream, and it uh, is 
very light. And it's really only meant to keep flyaways down. So, do you want to try that? You do? Okay. Just a little bit in my palm. And I, it is a clear cream. Um, it's white in my hands, but your hair is quite dark, and once it gets in your hair, it dissipates. And that should be... Should be set. Um, well, I hope you had an enjoyable experience. You're now um, fully done up. You're cleanly shaved, and your hair is looking well again. Um, do you have any questions before you go? In that case, uh, I hope you enjoyed your experience, and I look forward to serving you again.